Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we are hunting through looking for the commemoratives. Ones with more than face value but ideally trying to fill the book. We need all four Commonwealth Games £2 coins. It's getting a little bit worrying because we don't need an awful lot other than the Commonwealth Games. Olympic Rio handover, London Underground Roundel, Navy Centenary with the flag error and then the 2021 and onwards Britannia should they ever make their way into circulation. This might be the book we do get to put a new Britannia in if they end up in circulation before we tick off the last four Commonwealth Games. But uh, it's getting to that point where I'd very much like to tick off the Commonwealth Games. But in, overall, we're not that many episodes into this book. So um, it is going pretty well other than the Commonwealth Games. So I can't really complain, can I? But let's get into this bag and see what we find. Okay then, bag number one. I'll show you what we're looking for. That is what we're looking for, a commemorative. This is Trevithic Steam Locomotive. This is a, a fairly common one, one of the scarcer of the common coins, but still one you shouldn't have much problem coming across. This is Technologies, the definitive design, the non-commemorative design that was used for many years. We don't particularly want to see these. Uh, they, they are uh, all fairly common those, those years. Um, some lower mint than others. It might take a bit of work to get your hands on, but nothing too extraordinary or valuable, so hence we're not going to look through those in too much detail. Speaking of definitives though, that is the big news. The 2023 definitive coins have been revealed, released, and you can purchase them. Um, and lots and lots of people are asking me my opinions on it, so I apologize if you've watched a video where I have already uh, rambled on about it, but uh, it is a pretty big change in our coins, something we haven't seen for 15 years. But um, it's a whole change of our definitive designs. Ooh. Brunel's achievements, Archer Padding Sensation, that is quite common. Um, and it does answer the question that the definitive is why they were delayed, uh, unlike in previous years where they'd normally come out at the start of the year with the definitives and commemorative sets. Um, they've obviously been making them with uh, quite heavy involvement from the king, it would seem, which is quite cool. Um, but it is a whole change. Every coin from the penny to the two pound has got a new design which I think is quite cool. In the past they've been like the shield of the Royal Arms previously, uh, didn't include the two pound and then the new pound coin was separate as well. Uh, so it's nice that they are all one big set now. Uh, we've got Judy Clark's fifth portrait of the Queen, final portrait of the Queen, we know that'll be something. World War One Army Centenary. So with this coin particularly, check for the rotation error. So that's the way the Queen should be facing. Check the inscription for King and Country, that's what it should read as. I check all my 2016 edge inscriptions and I will check through all the coins at the end for any other rotation errors because they do turn up every now and again. That's the VE Day Anniversary, very common coin, the most common commemorative £2 coin out in circulation. Uh, but no, overall thoughts of the new definitive coins, I think they're really cool. I think there's a real chance that they could do some real positive work uh, for coin collecting if they go into circulation, which we will circle back to if I remember. Right, Lord Kitchener. Uh, we've got to check for the mule error. So at the bottom, on the obverse head side of the coin, it should say two pounds, which as you can see, it does there. There's the mule error where the wrong die has been used on one half of the coin, so it doesn't say two pounds at the bottom. Uh, so that is the mule, that would be the mule error, but this one is as it should appear in circulation. Um, but no, I think they are, when I first initially saw them, I thought, oh, these don't really feel like definitives. They almost feel like a commemorative set with those sort of the British, like British nature, British animals. Um, so I was a bit taken aback by that initially because it, it is at least some of the designs, uh, the, the two pound coin, maybe not so much, uh, the five pence, maybe not so much. Um, they didn't, they almost didn't feel like definitives for a moment. We've got the abolition of the slave trade there, a very common coin. Um, but I, I think that change is good. I think it's an exciting, uh, different kind of direction that our definitives ha have taken. We've got um, Charles Darwin there, that's a smidge over face value. Pretty cool coin to come across. Um, but no, especially some of the, the, the really cute little creatures, the red squirrel, the uh, dormouse, the... Um, um, Oh, what's it called? 
Um, the, the trout, uh, the salmon, sorry, isn't particularly cute, but uh, <laughs> it's a. I think animals on coins are quite a cool sort of niche that lots of people like to see and collect. Um, so yeah, the dormouse and the squirrel specifically, I think, are very cute designs. Oh, the puffin as well. Um, and I think if a someone who's not collecting coins gets one of those in their chains, they'll think, oh, that's that's quite a cool, interesting design. What's, what's that? What a little creature? And then they'll find out that there's more commemoratives in different coins and could uh, foster a whole new wave of coin collecting, which I think would be cool. Act of Union, no rotation error on that one. Um, so yeah, I think they are pretty cool. I think the highlight for me at the moment, I do like the two pound coin design. I think that's very cool. Um, but the squirrel, the red squirrel on the two pence coin, uh, it's just so clever the fact that it's on a coppery coin so the squirrel even looks uh, reddish. Uh, there we've got another uh, Bruno's achievements. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to get my set, which I've ordered, and then to eventually start finding them in change. Uh, they are going to be put into circulation. Um, now, it's a bit woolly as to how many we will see in circulation how soon. Um, it's been announced that the Royal Mint intends to mint the new definitives uh, subject to demand. Which basically means if we need more £2 coins, we will mint the new definitive £2 coins. If we need more 5 pence pieces, we will mint more 5 pence pieces. So it, it means that all or none or somewhere in between could be minted. Uh, for circulation before the end of the year. How soon will we then see them in circulation is a whole other question. Basically the Royal Mint mints uh, all of the UK's coins. Uh, they have, an, they obviously have more coins than are currently in circulation. They keep them in the long store. So if the Treasury or cash centres say, ah, we need more two pound coins up in the north, they are ready to dispatch and ship away. Then they mint, remint that backlog. Um, to be ready for when demand appears for them. Another Lord Kitchener. Again, not a mule error, sadly. Um, so it depends. Like We've seen many years where we haven't seen £2 coins meant for circulation. So between 2017, 18, 19 and 20, none were minted for circulation because there were enough out there. So I worry that some of the denominations might not be minted for a while. Uh, right, another Jodie Park fifth portrait. Shakespeare's comedy is very nice. This is the rarest of the three Shakespeare's, and being from 2016, we'll check the edge inscription. All the world's a stage, so that is fine. No error on that one. Um, so yes, uh, apparent, the, the, the part of their announcement was that we could, we should start seeing some in circulation by the end of the year, which is exciting. Um, but I think the, as I said before, the 2023 definitive sets are definitely a good purchase. Uh, I don't know financially whether they're going to go up in price, but for a collector who wants to make sure that you've got each of the different years, maybe you have a date run of the different denominations, maybe you just collect the annual sets, I don't know. Um, given the vagueness of whether they will be minted for circulation, uh, it strikes me as the only way that you're going to guarantee to get each of those different uh, definitive coins for your collection is to buy that annual set. So uh, just in case, say, maybe there are no, they don't need to mint any more 5Ps, they don't need to mint any more 2Ps before the end of the year. The only way to get a 2023 dated one is to buy that set. Uh, right, Jodie Clark's fifth portrait, Shakespeare's histories, the more common of the three. Edge inscription should read as the hollow crown, which this one does. So that's all present and correct. Um, the only thing to confuse matters a little bit on the, the, the only way to guarantee to get uh, 2023 da dated new definitive is buying that set, is that the sets include a privy mark. So uh, if you imagine, this is not the King's portrait, but imagine this is the King's portrait. Uh, he's obviously looking to the left. Just to the right, there is a little crown, which is a nod to the fact that it was the year of his coronation. Uh, I guess these are his first definitive coins. Now, when the, some of these coins get minted for circulation, which the embroidment has indicated that they want to do, um, will those coins have that privy mark? I would think not. I think it's gonna be similar to the uh, Coronation 50p, the one the collectors have been able to buy have the crowned portraits. The ones that are going into circulation or have gone into circulation do not have that crowned portrait. So I think that might be a unique variation uh, to those sets. That's, I'm, I'm not 100% sure that that is the case. This is just my own um, 
opinion. So I would be surprised if the privy marked coins go into circulation. So if you are an ultimate anorak like myself, uh, a completionist collector that wants uh, all the different variations or whatever, I think buying that BU set is probably a, a smart thing to do. Right, edge inscription time. So, uh, oh, what was the, I can't remember what the new uh, in service to all was the edge inscription or some the Latin version of that on the new two pound coin. So that'd be quite cool to see for the first time. Uh, if it says standing on the shoulders of giants, we know that is a technology's design because the edge inscriptions are unique to the designs. And I think we're, these are all just definitive technologies. Yes, so nothing more to be had from that bag. We'll try once again for an edge inscription. It's always nice to be able to pluck something out by, the, by its edge inscription. What have we got? Standing shoulders, giants, the shoulders, standing, standing, shoulders, giants, giants. And then we have this little squiggly line, which is a DNA double helix. Very, very cool. Uh, this is one of my, my favourite designs out in circulation because there's a lot of detail, a lot of intricate uh, bits on this design. So when you see it in BU proof, silver proof, um, when it hasn't obviously been bashed, dinged, knocked against other coins, uh, those, that detail really pops and it looks stunning. But it is a common coin though. The rest should just be technologies. Which unfortunately they are. We've got a few nice coins so far. Um, very quickly then before we wrap up we've got three bags left the only uh, negative I have about the these new annual uh, the new definitive coins Ooh, army centenary none of the areas we look for um, is that in the past definitive coins have been open public competitions to design it's Marconi's wireless transmission another common coin so uh, this technology design was designed by Bruce Russian an art teacher um, the uh, new pound coin was designed by David Pierce, Daniel Pierce, I think it's David Pierce. Um, the uh, shield of the Royal Arms was uh, designed part of a public competition by Matthew Dent. So it does then to me say that in, with, with the length of time a definitive coin set runs for, we might not get that open public competition to redesign them anytime soon. So maybe someone at the Royal Mint will go, oh, you know, we haven't done an open public competition since the redesign of the two pound coin. And that was run in 2015. So that is uh, um, getting on to getting close to being a decade ago. So I would love an open public competition because I'd love to take part in it, encourage others to take part in it. And as I've said on many videos before, how amazing would it be if another person who made one of the guys who makes videos about coins gets their design picked if a viewer gets their design picked i think that'd be so so cool anyway last bag of the hunt it's been a, a decent um outcome so far we've had some uh, nice variety of different coins there's another steam locomotive links as ever in the description though to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come over and join that there's also links to my other social media channels and of course the peer box dress should you wish to write in charles dickens there very common coin but we haven't had, haven't had it today so it does add some variety there's also a link to the britannia coin company's youtube channel a coin dealer i work for as my day job making videos for them so please do check them out too i'm going to whiz through these coins now see if there are any errors that i might have missed throughout the hunt though well this is why we check them so 2015 technologies if we rotate at 180 degrees the queen is upside down that is not the way that she should be facing if you do find something like this do check you can see the initials BR, Bruce Russian. I think it's Bruce Russian. I hope I'm, I'm picking, up the, picking on the right name. Make sure that is located there because if someone has manipulated and spun this around, it's not too easy to tell uh, that that's just a little, that that's been spun around. But uh, this is definitely a rotation error, quite a severe one as well, which is quite cool. So that is one of our star finds. Other star finds, um, Shakespeare or charles darwin i would say but uh, as ever let me know in the comments what your favorite coin from today's video is and all it leads me to do is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye